But we begin tonight with what was supposed to be the trip of a lifetime for Taylor Swift fans in Metro Detroit, all ruined by an alleged terror plot that forced the star to cancel her shows. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. Fans were planning to travel from Michigan to Vienna, Austria. The reason ticket prices are much lower compared to what we would pay here in the U.S. Swifties who are already in Vienna have flooded the streets singing and dancing to her songs. 7 News Detroit reporter Kimberly Craig is talking to the Alarm community about why they were planning to go and how they feel now that their trip has been canceled. Before news of the terror plot broke, some Taylor Swift fans had already flown out of Metro Detroit Airport, headed to Austria for her concerts. People now posting on social media how sad and disappointing it is that you can't even enjoy a concert, and also thankful that a tragedy was averted. It was devastating. It was like I broke her heart. And I had a knot in my stomach. I wanted to get sick. Amy and Keith Frederick's eight-year-old daughter Giselle is a huge Taylor Swift fan. And like so many others, the family from Wixom was planning to catch one of her heiress concerts in Vienna because going to Europe was much cheaper than buying tickets here in the U.S. Because I was really excited to go. And once I heard heard about that, I I was really sad and really scared. It would have also been a once in a lifetime trip for Jennifer Stafford of Royal Oak. Yeah, I was like super excited. Um, my brother and sister just saw her in Germany because I never do this. Like I never like go on trips. I've never traveled by myself before and I've been wanting to see her forever. You know, I've been a fan for a really, really long time. Then before Stafford or the Frederick family boarded their planes to head out, they got word that two radicalized terrorist suspects were arrested for allegedly planning an attack at one of Swift's concerts. The artist and her team erring on the side of safety and canceling them. I think the worst part is being a mom and having to explain that news and what that event could have mean is, devastating. I was just glad that they caught the person because it could have been horrible. Like a lot of people could have been hurt or, you know, some, something much worse. All of them just thankful no one was hurt, but not willing to risk going to Austria as the investigations are still underway. The Frederick still trying to get all of their money back. So we called Air France and they still have not responded to us. Um, we're out thousands of dollars. You know, we just wanted to take our daughter to the concert. So I'd rather you know, have this happen to me, like have a concert or a trip canceled a thousand times over anyone losing their life over this. So we didn't feel safe to go. Very thankful. You can imagine being, you know, having something happen to one of my, one of my, you know, my wife, my daughter. Kimberly Craig, 7 News, Detroit.